you guys taking her to? I no, demand to know where you're taking her to. You can't go in with them. But I demand to know where you're taking her to. Please, you will still see her. You will still see her. Please come and have your seat. Come and have your seat, please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Hello? What the? No, now I'm late. But. Okay. You should have some snack. You must be very hungry now. I, I'm not hungry. I don't want any snack. All I want is my mommy. I, I want my mommy. Sweetheart. I understand. Your mommy is going to be fine. But you have to stay strong for her. You need to eat something. Where is your fate? Have you forgotten what I told you at home? Like, mommy is going to be fine. I can assure you on that. Please, baby. Catch you. Mika, you okay? Of course I came, since you left me no choice. What can I say, Mika? I guess I'm sorry. You guess you're sorry. That's all you have to say, right? This is a complete disruption of my life right now. You know what? I'm just going to pretend like I didn't hear that. Like, you didn't say that to me. Oh, how, how sweet. You know, I just wish, just like you, I could pretend that you never made that call. That you never, you know, contacted me. That, that... That what? That Lotana is not your son? Or that 10 years ago you had an affair with my sister? Why do I have a feeling like you care less about this boy? Maybe I couldn't care less truly about the boy. Your sister ruined my life. I mean, she deceived and lied to me and I, I swore never to have anything to do with her. Nothing ever again. Okay. Yes. And it means nothing to you that this girl might not survive it. It doesn't even occur to you that she's struggling through this thing she's facing there. I'm sure it doesn't make any sense to you, does it? Well, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would it make any sense to me? Why? I mean, your sister dying doesn't seem to be anybody's fault. Yes. In fact, I would like to think that um, it's a recompense for all the men she has deceived and infected with her disease. Truly, judgment is upon her. You are so self conceited I should have known better. Thank you. Is my sister okay? Nurse. <gasps> well, she should better be okay. Because she have... She have a son to take care of. Mommy, wake up! 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 Mommy, wake up!
I don't know what to say, Kachi. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Well, you don't have to say anything if you don't mean to. So, um, <clears throat> what really happened? I mean, do you mind telling? Because um, these days, uh, HIV doesn't really kill people. I mean, not since the discovery of the antiretroviral drugs. Well, what can I say? Mona suddenly stopped taking care of herself. She stopped taking her drugs. It was just like... It was just like she had a death wish. Well, that is downright irresponsible if you ask me. I mean, don't she reckon that she owe it to her son at least to, to, to fight, to survive? You can't really blame her, Emeka. You don't have to. Mona suddenly burned out. But you know what it means to live with a deadly disease all the days of your life. Coupled with the fact, you know, what society is stigmatized on people who have such diseases. Besides, she took you guys' break up to her heart and she tried telling the truth in a nice relationship, but I guess you know how that turned out. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can imagine. So, the boy. What will happen with the boy? You mean your son? That's your responsibility. It is not. It is, and. At this junction, I am out. <laughs> you, you can be out, and it is not my responsibility. I mean, that, <laughs> that is not even possible. What would I tell my wife? That you have a son that you never knew existed, <laughs> and that you are bringing him home. <laughs> it is as simple as that, Inika. Yes. Okay. Hello, honey. I have just realized I had a son, 10 year old, he's coming home. Are you serious? If I am my wife, I would not take that from me. So don't you expect me to spring that on my wife? I, 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 I can't even think of doing that. I mean, what, 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 what are you playing at, Kachi? What is your game plan? What, do you want to ruin my marriage? I mean, You know, on a second note, um, he is your sister's son and you owe it to him to, you know, care for him. So I think you should do that. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. But I am sorry to disappoint you. I am in no way responsible for your responsibilities. No. And you have to do the right thing. Failure to do that, Emika, I will make sure I bring this boy's welfare authority into this matter. Yes. 
So you had better start doing the right thing, you self-centered Carlos fool. <laughs> you know what? Your little trip does not bug me. It was at my car. Don't do the right thing and see what happens. Hey, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Any more of this repugnant company? I just might. Yeah. Right, come, come, let's go. So you mean something actually came out of your relationship with Mona 10 years ago and you're just finding out? I mean, talk about the most horrific and stupid idea for a joke. I mean, if Mona was looking for a way to hurt me, she couldn't have chosen a better way. Why do you say that? See, I don't perceive she meant it that way. I mean, if you ask me, she wouldn't have bothered you if it wasn't the fact that she was dying. Well, her death is a complete inconvenience to me. How do I start building a relationship with a 10-year-old when I have nothing but loathing for his mother? Okay, what do I tell my wife, Betty? I mean, which woman would want to raise her husband's ex's son, dead or alive? Well, I now see where that presents a problem. But come to think of it, this boy in question is still your son, right? Then Betty has got to understand that. Yes. I mean, I, 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 I convinced myself. I told myself that, hey, don't worry, Mona will never hurt you again. But it seems I was deceiving myself. Because everything I do, it just, I just can't escape our unsavoring past. You don't understand. I don't even know how to push the idea to Betty. Just relax. You see, take your drink. I am sure Betty will understand at the end. Drink up. Come on, take your drink. Emeka, how could you do this to me? Tell me you're sorry. You're not sorry. What are you sorry about? Sweetheart, please. Don't please. touch me. Don't. You have betrayed me. You have done your worst. What more can you do? I will never forgive you for this, Emeka. You did it purposely. You did it because you think that it's easy to apologize to me, to make me serious this with you. I will not accept that challenge. No, no matter what you do, I will not. See that I think you're overreacting. Betty, I, I can't pretend to know exactly how you feel, but I know you're in pain. But believe me, if there is anything I could do to wash away the existence of that child, I mean, if there is anything I could do to make all this go away, I would. Oh yes, Emeka, there is actually something you can do about it. You can refuse to bring in that illegitimate son of your ex into our home. He he is my son. I can't possibly do that to him. 
you can't possibly do what, Emeka? Are you telling me that you're going to take the word of a loose woman? That boy can't simply be your son just because she said so. Mona is dead. Okay? And I don't think of any reason why we, she would lie about something that serious. Every freaking reason she has, hasn't she lied before? Didn't she lie about her HIV status? I can't believe Emeka would do this to me. Not after all I... After all what, Betty? <sighs> you won't understand. Yeah, well, I guess I don't. But the little that I do... You were shocked that your husband has a son outside. And he wants to bring him into the house to live with you guys. Over my dead body will that happen? Nora, God forbid, I will not let that happen. Please be careful what you wish for. I mean, this boy is your husband's son. Betty, his blood. Do you expect him to leave his son on the streets? Hmm. Blood call one me. Oh, you think it's now my duty to take care of another woman's child? I will not. Ah, ah, Nora, you expect me to take care of another woman's child? I can't. Certainly not that trump from his past. No way. So I'm guessing you, you've told him this already? Uh, yes. Well... Literally, in few words, I have. And I believe he understands my position on the issue. Okay. So if I may ask, what was his reaction? <sighs> Nora, drop it. We're quarreling. We're busy malice, couples malice or whatever. We're not talking, so I don't know. You understand? So... Babes, <clears throat> take this from a very good friend. Be very careful how you handle this matter. So that you don't lose your marriage. I'm sure you don't want that to happen. Emeka! Hey, Emeka, come and eat, or your food is ready. If I don't cook, they will say I didn't cook. If I cook, I call you, you will not answer. What of your food are you not eating? I lost my appetite. Just stop it. You see this cold? It suits me just fine. Come on, Betty. Don't, don't be like this. Hmm? Don't be like that. Okay? Don't be like how? Don't be like how? 
you've already done what you want to do. You've made your decision. You have chosen to bring that son into this house. Isn't it? Sweetheart, please try and understand that. I will explain to you that that, as you called him, is still my son. I don't care. I don't care. You are asking me for way too much. Much more than I can give. And I can't. Babe, do you need to understand that no matter who the mother is and the circumstances surrounding his birth, he is still my child. Do you know what I think? I think you decided to bring that boy in deliberately to hurt me. Knowing fully well that I cannot give you a son. That's why you did what Come you did. Come on, Betty. You, you need to stop this. Emeka. Don't bring that child into this house. You will not like the outcome. If that boy comes to this house, you will lose me. Hi, Emeka. Hi. I'm sorry to have kept you. I've been having a very busy day and um, busy preparing for Mona's burial, which I am sure you don't want to hear anything about. Well, it's okay. I, I'm sorry for pulling you out of your busy shadows. I promise I won't waste much of your time here. Um, it's okay. Just shoot. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Well, it's about the boy. You mean your son, Lutan? Uh, yes. Okay, what about him? Well, I was thinking maybe we could come to some sort of agreement on the upkeep of the boy. I don't understand. What kind of agreement is that? I was... Uh, I was thinking maybe I could convince you to keep the boy while I send you something at the end of every month for his upkeep and probably for your troubles. <laughs> your son, Lutana. Well, that's a child I never planned to have. Don't you forget that, Kachi. I mean, because maybe you expected me to fall over hill. Because your sister got excited and got herself pregnant and had a child for me. <laughs> Emika. Yes? I was actually thinking the moment you find a Lutana is your child. You would embrace him and be head over heels about him. Because the last time I checked, you didn't have a child. Yes. Now tell me, what kind of a man are you, though? What kind of a man am I? The kind of a man that would rather have his life and marriage not disrupted by your sister's mistake. Now I want no son from Mona. Okay? I don't, I don't want anything that will constantly remind me of her. So are you accepting my offer or not? Hell to the no. I can help you, Emika. The moment I'm done with Mona's Berry, I'm leaving for the States to be with my fiance. And even if I am going to think of doing anything for you, what makes you think you're going to have your way so easy? You had better start living up to your responsibilities. I am done with you.
man. I'm tired. I'm seriously tired, man. I tried searching out some sort of arrangement with um, Chikachi or whatever she calls herself. That's Mona's sister. But that irritating brood blatantly refused. An arrangement, you say? Yes. Okay. May I know the kind of arrangement you propose to her? Well, I simply ask her to, you know, take the boy, live with him. I mean, give him care like a normal caregiver would give. And then at the end of every month, I would, you know, sort her out financially. I mean, completely financially. It should, it should be on me. But she refused. It should be on you. Can you just listen to yourself? I mean, why on earth did you do that? To balance things now. Emeka. Before yes. you say things, or before you do things, pause a bit and listen to yourself. So if Betty doesn't want to take the boy in, need I remind you once again that the boy in question is your own son. You've been married for five years without a child. Why on earth do you want to reject this blessing from God? Well, you, you don't understand what I'm trying to say, man. I, Betty doesn't want to hear anything about the boy, let alone accepting him into our home. I'm at my wit's end here. Are you, I, are, you, you are the man of the house. You should try and make Betty see things your own way. Well, I understand that, but the thing is that Betty has, she has always been there with me. I mean, she, 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 she has always been so supportive of me. I, I, I just feel like I am betraying her if I should do this. I, 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 my hands are tied. You are not doing anything to better. In, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, what you're doing is simply looking out for your own son. You are an Igbo man for crying out loud. See, Igbo men are known for looking out for their own families and not abandoning them. Emeka, somehow you have to try and make Betty understand. You're a man and Lutana is your son. I know, I know, but the... Uh, but, but the thing is, uh, there have to be some sort of um, um, uh, an arrangement. Some sort of arrangement. Lotana is your son. Welcome, kiss. Huh. Honey, I realize that what I'm asking of you is somewhat difficult for any woman. Notwithstanding, I have decided. And I can only hope that for the sake of, for the sake of the love that you have for me and the love that we share, that you understand and forgive me. You have decided what? Emeka, what have you done? What have you done? I... I have decided to bring my son home. I just realized that I made a very 
big mistake by marrying you. Ameka, I will not forgive you for this thing that you have done. Oh no, honey, you, you... Don't, did. don't touch me. You will regret this, I promise you. I don't want to push you. Get out of my face. Honey, you Don't. See. Really get out. Let me pass. to go with him. Please take me with you. Take me with you to America, please. I would if I could. Please. But baby, I promise you, I'll come back for you. But first, you need to go with your daddy. You need to get used to him. Bond with your father. Okay? By the time I'm settled over there in the States, I'll come back for you. Promise. Please, baby, I promise you. <laughs> now you need to get those tears wiped off. You know how much I hate to see you cry. Mm -hmm. You need to wipe those teary eyes. We don't want Daddy to see you with them, isn't it? Yes. Good. I guess your Daddy must be here. Let me get out of the door, okay? Hey. Hi. Come on in. Yeah. How are you? Good. Hi. <clears throat> you must be Lutana. I am a, a Mecca. Your dad. Please give him time. Of, of, of course, of course. And if we are ready, shall we? Yes, we are ready, right? Everything I told you, baby. Come. You need to be a good boy for me. Oh. 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 No. I don't want to go. I don't want to go with him. I, he's he's a stranger. He's a total stranger. And my mommy said I shouldn't follow strangers. Don't say no. that. Shh. Oh. Baby, don't say that. Okay, he is your father. He's not. He is your stranger. father, baby. Come. You remember that was mommy's wish. And you know you promised mommy to do this. So please stop crying. You're hurting me. Please, baby. You have to go now. I promise I'll come back for you. Okay? I promise. I promise you. Come, let's go. Come. Please be nice to him. The poor boy is in no way responsible for what transpired between you and his mother. Please show him some fatherly love, please. What right do you have to tell me how to treat the boy you choose to abandon? You now you have washed your hands of him and I don't think um, how I treat him is any of your business henceforth. Well, it couldn't be more wrong, Emeka. But you had better take care of my nephew. 
Because if I come back to this country and I found out Lutana is not in a good state, you have me to reckon with. So you had better do what is right. Well, I'm not scared of your little threat. Okay? So I will just say thank you for everything and goodbye. You don't mean to tell me you're going to do that all day. Oh, come on now. Did I say anything wrong? Alright, I'm sorry. Listen, I know this is not easy for you. I mean, it is strange. You are new to all this thing, I don't even know what to say. But yes, I am also new into it all. I can you imagine yesterday I just found out that I have a ten year old son and whether I like it or not, I have to get used to it. I, I, I want to go home. I miss my mommy. I'm sorry, uh, your mommy is gone. I mean, it's quite unfortunate she's gone to be with the Lord. Okay? So, uh, I guess instead of crying, and sniffing, and, I mean, you're not going to do that all day, but I'm stuck with you. You are stuck with me. So, Maybe we should just, instead of crying, work on getting to know each other. Agreed? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Hi. You too, hi. What's going on here? What's he doing? Um... What, you have cough? Can you just tune no, no, it no, down? No, don't tell me how to talk in my house. What do you mean by that? I asked you a simple question. Who is the riffraff behind you? Well, I, I told you that I was going to bring back my son. So this is Lotanna. Ah. Emeka, I cannot remember consenting to that decision. But how can you bring the son of your... Took it into my house and you expect me to what you say about my mother. Are you mad? Shut Who is this one? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Wait, Lotana! Don't you dare run out of that gate. What is your problem? Huh? Don't you realize that you could be knocked down by a moving vehicle on the street? What is wrong with you? Leave me alone! Leave me, I want to go home. I want to go home with my Auntie Kachi. Well, sorry. Your Auntie Kachi will travel out of the country and she is not coming back. 
So you're stuck with me. That's a lie. Stop lying. I hate you. I hate this place. I hate that wicked woman and I don't want to stay with her. Boy, watch what you say, boy. Because that wicked woman as you refer to her is my wife and soon will become your mom. No! I don't want a new mom. Much less her. I, I miss my mom and my mom was it a... Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm sorry you have to hear that, okay? I... I know nobody likes to hear their mother being insulted. And for that, I apologize. And I apologize for the slap. Okay, but you have to forgive her. Hmm? You have to forgive her and give her another chance to get to know you. I mean, she's, she's new with this whole idea of you living with us. Okay? Let's go in. It's okay. I said I'm sorry. Now you need to be... I mean, we need to become very good friends because I'm the only one you've got right now. Okay? So, let's go in and, um, and talk to her. Don't worry, I will talk to her. You'll be fine. She won't slap you again. Let's go. Come on, boy. Let's go. went right ahead to do the same thing that I warned you not to do. You brought that boy into my house after everything that I told you. All the pleadings and the beggings. You still went ahead and brought that child into this house. You brought that child into this house. No, I cannot believe you just treated that boy the way you did. I mean, that boy could have easily been your son. God forbid. I mean, how would you feel if someone treated your son the way you just did? You heard me, that boy can never be my son. You know why? Because I will not bring a child into this world knowing fully well that I will be condemning that child to eternal damnation. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm just saying, don't try to turn the table on me. Emeka, you are trying to make me take care of the child of your ex-girlfriend. Do you know how that feels? You're just taking me for granted because you feel you can. No, no, no. Oh, sweetheart, I... You, you're getting it all wrong. I mean, God knows that I will never take your love for granted. It's just that as it is, I, I don't have much of a choice in this matter. I don't. What was the point coming this way? Emeka, since you're trying to force this boy down my throat, you will not like it, oh. You will not like it. Fine, since you don't have a choice, I also will not have a choice on how to treat him. Don't freaking touch me. in a way. Find 
finally the little brat has woken up. Will you get up from this bed and get yourself into the kitchen right now? If I come back with this bowl, I promise you it's hot water. Hot water. Get, 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 get. If I use this to be like come, let us do this. <laughs> you are busy sleeping. Sleeping as if you're in your father's house. You see this kitchen? I want you to wash anything your eyes see, you wash it. Wash everything in this kitchen. I want it sparkling clean. Oh, yeah, take. Come on, take. Uh, but, Auntie Betty, I, I've never washed plates before. <laughs> You have 15 minutes to clean this kitchen. <laughs> Your mother. You. What are you doing up so early? I needed to clear the kitchen from yesterday's grubs and prepare it for a new day. This is Sunday morning. I mean, why the rush? Oh, there are certain days where we're working. What the heck is that? My plate! Intentional. I, 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 I kind of slept off. <laughs> so you broke. So do you, you have cough, asthma. You, you think that you, you are wicked. You want to know what wickedness is? Sit down right now and start eating this plate. Sit down. Stop that. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing to your son? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I need you to perform an HIV test on me right now. Okay. Sit down. No, 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 there's no Sit. need to. An HIV test? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's the strangest thing you've ever asked from me, like in a while. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just want the test, or should I go somewhere else? No. No, I'll do it. It's fine. I have some RVD strips, but let's just let's go to the lab. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, sorry. All right, kiddo. You all mended up and ready to go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my son. Um. <clears throat> I'd want to apologize for what happened earlier. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, I I swear, sir, it, it. I didn't mean to break the plate. I it, I was feeling sleepy, and I dozed off. But believe me, I. It wasn't intentional. I 
I know my son, I, I'm sure you couldn't have possibly broken the plate intentionally. You're a good boy. Okay, you're a good boy, Lutana. It's just that Betty haven't realized it yet. And I need you to promise me something. Hmm? Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir, but I was thought never to make promises that I, I might not keep. Uh, but why don't you tell me first? Hmm. That's the smart of you, my boy. <laughs> okay. Well, um, what I wanted you to promise me is that you would have patience with Betty. I mean, she's not really that bad when you get to know her. Okay? Like, she just needs time to know you. And I need you to promise me that you will be patient with her. Well, I, I guess I'll try, sir. That's my boy. And do you think that you will get around someday, calling me dad, maybe? Maybe someday. Good one, my boy. Smarty, smarty. <laughs> now, I'm guessing that you're hungry, so why don't we go out there and grab some breakfast? I know you like the sound of that. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Nora, eh, I don't understand. This HIV test is beginning to take so long now. Does it usually take this long? No, it doesn't. Would you please stop being melodramatic? Why this sudden urge of wanting to know your HIV status? You know the son of that useless woman? His useless blood spilled on me. I, I, I can't keep quiet. I can't keep calm. I just want to be sure that I'm free and I'm safe. You know, I, I really cannot believe you. Wait, so what you're saying right now is that you left your house to this place because you feel like that boy has infected you simply because his blood touched you. <sighs> Come on, even a little girl of five knows better. But you cannot be too sure. I want to be sure. Is that a crime? See, you know what? I think I know why you're doing this. And it's really annoying because I never thought you'd be this petty. <laughs> why now? Why, why are you treating that boy like he's some leper simply because he... Preacher! Please, tell them to bring the results. If the results is not coming, let me go to another hospital. I didn't come here for you to lecture me. Excuse me. Here's the result of the first request. Thank you. You, you may go now. Thank God you're finally awake. Babe, you scared me. Nora. Nora. Come. Nora. Tell me that text result isn't right. Tell me it's not mine. There's a mix up somewhere. That nurse must have been wrong. Right? Babes, please calm down. The fact that you tasted HIV positive doesn't mean it's the end of the I'm world. not HIV positive. Don't say that. How can I be HIV positive? I mean, why? How? I have never cheated on my husband before. So how can it be that I 
told you it was that child. His blood spilled on me. I told you. Stop. I told you. Stop. You just didn't learn. Stop being irrational. That boy couldn't have possibly infected you. You don't have any open wounds. Either do you know if he's even infected? His mother was infected. He was the only child. Who infected me? It's not him. <sighs> Betty. You are saying I can't make a head nor tail out of what you're saying. What are you saying? How are you? I'm fine and yeah, so tell me, how is Betty? She's fine. You're you're sure she's fine? Yes. The th the thing is, she she stopped by at the hospital today and and I'm afraid she didn't leave here in a good frame of mind. Nora, tell me. Is there anything wrong with my wife? I I just want to tell you to Please be patient with her. Okay? Nora, is there something you want to tell me? Um, I, I, I think I've said enough, Emeka. You need to talk to Betty. Whatever has to be said, be said by her. Okay, but I just, I just really want you to be patient with her. My friend needs you now more than ever. Please. It's okay. <clears throat> Thanks for the heads up. You know I love my wife. I mean, I, I'm always there for her, so... I will sure take care of her. So, uh, <clears throat> how are you? How, how has work been? Work is good. A bit hectic though, but... Wow. Alright. Alright, see you around anytime. So. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good night. Bye.
опять. Do I look like someone that is not all right? Nora called. Hmm? Nora, what? Um, what did she say? I mean, did she say anything? Nothing. She didn't tell me anything. I'm actually hoping to hear it from you, Betty. Is there something I need to know? Something like what? Maybe you tell me because I don't know. Betty. Please, I want to sleep. I beg you, please, just don't start. you're doing uh, uh, what was I I said what, what are you doing uh, I was only you were only um, what so apart from HIV your mother also infected you with laziness in my house you are lounging on my couch <laughs> let this be the last time I see you sit on this couch 
be done with that thing and go into the kitchen and clean up the entire place. Do you understand? Well, Let me see you sitting down on my couch. I can't do this anymore. Mommy, where are you? Lotana. <laughs> You're crying. Are you done with the chores that I gave you to do? The chores? I asked you a question. I don't want to lose my temper. Just answer me. And you don't want to ask you to do? No, Auntie. No, I've not. I, I, I just came to sit down because I, I was tired and I, I, I can't. I, I can't do the chores alone. You know, I'm, I'm only a child and and telling me to sweep under the rain is sheer wickedness. You know. Come closer. Come here. There? Yes. Here. Mm. So, as nice as I have been to you, you have the guts, you look me in the face, and you call me wicked. Uh. No, that is it. I am wicked. No. Go right to see if I slap you. Come here. <laughs> Betty. Betty. You said I'm home. Oh, welcome. I, I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, I noticed. Are you crying? No. No, I just... Uh... <sighs> what are you carrying? Oh, obviously it's a box of noodles. I remember children love noodles, so I got one for Lotanna. And talking about Lotanna, where is he? Betty. I don't know. I am not his keeper. 
I don't know. Why are you calling my name, please? Welcome home, sir. Ah, boy, how are you? Come, 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 come. Are you okay? Betty, this boy is running temperature. Betty, I see. No, no, I don't understand you. He's running temperature. As what? The doctor that I am. Isn't it? You just enjoy calling my name whenever you want to. It, whenever it concerns this boy. Betty, this Betty, this Betty, 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 Betty. What? Come and sit down. Let me feed you. Don't worry, you. You're fine, huh? I got you a little. You love this, right? This for you. Thank you, Dad. Let's go make some. Sorry, huh? Yeah? I it take some tablet now. You'll be fine, okay? Hey. Baby. What are you doing? For God's sakes, what is wrong with you, Betty? You don't have plan to keep pushing me because of Lotana. I am not doing this because of Lotana. What is the problem? I am not in the mood. Yes, I'm not in the mood. Are you not serious about that, babe, are you? Yes. Okay, don't worry, I know what just to do to put you in the mood. Hmm? Come on, baby. Come, 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 come on. I really, seriously, I'm not in the mood. I'm tired, I... Betty, what is wrong with you? Did I... Do anything wrong? No, you didn't. So, what is it? Give me my love. I can't bring myself to hurt you like this. I can't do it. I wish I could. Good morning. Good morning. Um, your breakfast will be ready in 10 minutes. Don't bother, I'm not hungry. And um, please, in case you check and find out that Lutana is still running temperature, help me take him to doctor. I'll be coming back late tonight. Excuse me. Wants to be woken up by special order. You need fried rice, 
a plate of juice. Get up! Get up and get into the kitchen and make yourself useful! But so I, I, I decided to play a game. You were bored. You were bored. Hey, is this sea finish or what? Because I don't understand. Huh? You don't think that you're supposed to ask my permission before touching anything in this house? Uh, uh, Auntie Betty, my dad said uh, I could play the game if I wanted to. And I didn't see any reason why I needed to ask your permission. You are a very stupid boy. Uh, Who is your dad? Come, 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 come this way. Come this way. Who is your dad? You don't have any rights, you and your father. You don't have any right whatsoever to touch anything in this house without my permission. I am the madam of this house. It is my call. What I say stands. Whatever I say supersedes anything that your father must have told you. Do you understand? Come on, give me that thing. Auntie, Auntie Betty, oh, my dad said I could play the video game. You're just being so wicked and unfair. That's unfair. Hello, buddy. Wake up, Lotanna. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I am for um, sleeping on the balcony. I I didn't mean to. Uh, please don't be mad. No, come on. I'm not mad at you. I'm just surprised why you would choose to sleep here instead of in your room. Do you mind telling me why? Uh, it's. Uh, I came outside to wait for you, and I don't know when I. Fell asleep. Mm. I see. You looks like you've been crying. Why? It, it, it's nothing, sir. I just miss my mom. I, I know that feeling, but I want you to understand that your mom is in a better place, okay? And she is happy, and she would want you to be happy, okay? So I want you to go about your life knowing that she is watching over you, okay? That she is with you. Okay. Now let's go inside. Wipe those tears away, okay? Good. I'm famished. Let's go inside. Okay. Anna, why are you always on the floor? Come and join us here. Come. <laughs> no, 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 sit down! Honey, it's not necessary. I mean, the boy is fine where he is. Besides, it's, it's like a couple's time out. On the other hand, Lutana is a part of this family and I think it's about time we make him feel so. Lutana. 
Come on, come sit here. It, it's alright, Dad. I'm okay with what I am. You know, I said you should come sit here. That's what I mean. He knew. said he's okay. Honey, let the boy eat. He needs his time alone. Eat, baby. Do you want more? No, I have to finish this one first. Betty, I'm off to work. And, um, <clears throat> I was meaning to ask, Betty, why did I find Lutana sleeping outside yesterday when I returned from work? How does that concern me? How am I supposed to know? I mean, that boy can sleep at the motor park for all I care. <sighs> Mecca, please. It's too early. I can't believe you chose to wake me up and start my day with that boy's name. Also, I... <clears throat> I noticed that he's looking malnourished and like he has not been eating enough. What exactly are you insinuating? You know, I wouldn't want to think in any way that you are abusing that poor boy. Oh, really? Yes. Abusing your precious son. Emeka. <laughs> I made it very clear to you from the onset that I wasn't in support of that boy coming into this house. But you forcefully brought him into this house. And now you are accusing me of maltreating him. If you care so much about your precious son, why don't you hire a nanny to take care of your king? Yes! You see, you look very worried about how he looks. I would advise we take him to a hospital. No, you take him to a hospital for checkup. Like, I don't look at me like that. You never can tell. The thing that killed his mother might just be lurking around. Maybe they started eating deep into him. I'm not the problem. It's so good to have you visit. I mean, I'm wondering how you left the hospital to come say hi to me. <laughs> yeah, it's my update today, so I figured I'd owe you a visit, so I'm here. Oh, Plus, I've been really worried about sweet. you, Betty. Oh. Why are you worried about me? I'm fine. I mean, you don't have any reason to worry. Okay. I'm planning my son's seventh birthday on Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Okay, seven already. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes, and I figured since you had now have a ten year old living with you, I mean, why don't you bring him over? Why don't I invite him? <laughs> um oh, no, that's a really, 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 really good idea, but um I don't think that's a good idea. But why, Betty? I mean, it's a very good opportunity for him to meet and blend with other kids of our secular friends. That child is HIV positive. AIDS. Didn't you know? Yes. Don't look at me like that. It's not a good idea for me to let him go mingle with other children and then he ends up infecting them. Betsy! What? You're lying. Uh, did someone just say something? I think I heard somebody. Did you just say something? Yes. Oh. Okay. I don't have the HIV virus. And even if I did, HIV isn't transmitted by merely playing with other children. Children with the virus have the right to live normal lives so long as they take their medications and avoid any blood contacts. Mm. Lecturer. <laughs> 
Lecturer, lecture me. Do you know what killed that useless mother of yours? Did your useless mother or the devil that sent you into my house tell you that it is AIDS that killed your mother? You're wrong. <laughs> my mom told me before she died and she also told me that, that she had a C-section birth to deliver me so I could be HIV AIDS free. <laughs> Besides, it wasn't my mom's choice to die of HIV AIDS and those people living out there didn't choose to either. So instead of stigmatizing them uh, or being wicked like you have been, people ought to show them love and support. Betty! Stupid thing! Oh yeah! Come and carry this poison that you <laughs> I came to drop here. I, I will slam that tree on your head if you don't get out of my face right now. Betty, what is wrong with you? My God, Betty. How could you do a thing like that? What has gotten into you? Why would you treat that boy like that? Because I hate him. That's why. You know, every time I look at that child, I see the son that I will never be able to have for my husband. And ever since that useless child came into this house, my life has been turned upside down. And that is something that I will never forgive. But Betty, you know that that boy has done nothing wrong to you. You know that. What you're doing right now is simply living in denial. Yes. And looking for who to, to blame for your problems. And you need to stop. I'm guessing you haven't told Emeka yet. Nora. It seems you don't even understand the gravity of this whole situation. You don't. Tell him what? How do you expect me to, to tell him? Like, do you want me to lose my home, my marriage, his love, everything? Is that what you want? No. I know that Emeka loves you. I know that the love that you guys share is... It's so strong. It's strong enough to weather this storm. <sighs> America loves me, no doubt. But not when I'm HIV positive. Nobody loves HIV positive people. I mean, look at that useless Lutana's mother. See the way she died, abandoned, rejected, unloved. I don't want that for myself. I... It doesn't have to be that way, Betty. You know what? The boy was right. People living with HIV can still live their normal lives. All they need is love and acceptance. But it's really ironic. It's ironic that you think that way about them, knowing that you're a carrier too. Do you know what? I think I have to take my leave now. Would you still come see me off? Babes, um... I'm really sorry if my words hurt you, okay? It's just that, as your best friend, if I don't tell you the truth, who will? That's why I'm telling you to make up your mind to tell Emeka about it. Because the more you keep this a secret, the more you risk him contracting the virus. That is if he hasn't contracted- Enough! Enough, keep quiet. What's up with all this? Leave my husband out of your mouth. You claim to be advising me, but all my seeing is mockery. What is it? If you want to mock me, you are free. Oh. You have every right to do that. It's easier for you now. You're not the one who's been diagnosed of HIV. You're not the one who's in my shoes. You're not the one who's living with that little wizard. You're not. So you can stand there all you like and try to advise me, but I see through you. I see through you. Keep mocking me, but not in my house. 
Get out! Betty, are you... Are you asking me to leave your house? Actually, me, I'm asking you never to set foot in my house again. Get out! And leave my husband's name out of your lips. Get out. Babes! Who's your babe? Are you mad? Get out! You're still here? This is serious. I have some stuff to finish up, so I decided to work late. Is that so? See, I know you. I know you will not go home late, even if your life depended on it. So tell me, what is the matter? This is serious. I, I don't know. Betty seems to have gone crazy these days. I, she has just shown me a part of her I never knew she existed. And the most painful part is that she take every opportunity to rub it on that boy's face that her mother died of AIDS. I, Gosh. You see, that, that, that's terrible. That's bad. See, if I know women, I know she's doing all that to frustrate you into pushing the little boy out. So take my advice. You see what you have to do? Just hang in there. When she realizes that you're not bugging, she will have no choice but to compromise. That's women for you. I'm, I'm just tired, man. Tired. It takes time. It takes time. Soon Betty will understand. Thanks. I hope my husband is all right wherever he is. Emeka has never stayed up this late. This is all my fault. Nora was right. Emeka deserves to know the truth. I'm only going to succeed in ruining our lives if I continue like this. I have to own up to the truth. I have to tell him once he comes back. I can't bear this anymore.
What? What do you think you are doing? Oh, Tana, am I your mate? So your mother has been breathing a thief in my house. Look at this boy, you see me to run. Lutana, if I, if I run, if I... Lutana! What have you done, Betty? He jumped. Jumped. Lutana. I don't know, I don't know. He went into the kitchen. Lutana. So, Doctor, he, he's going to be okay, right? Mr. Necker is too early to say that. We need to run his car on him. And then when we're done with that, we'll be able to confirm if he has a, uh, maybe internal or external injuries. Then we'll be able to confirm the extent of damage to him. Okay. Mm, I may ask, how did he, how did this injury come to be? Uh, he, he slipped. I see. Yes. Well, we'll run a scan on him and then uh, I'll give you a feedback. Okay. If you will excuse me. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I swear, I didn't mean to hurt this boy. It was a mistake. Don't, don't, it was don't say mistake. that. Don't say that. You know, you never wanted Lotana. You never wanted him. You constantly told him that you wished he died like his mother. I didn't mean that. Emeka, I didn't mean it. When finally you got what you wished for. It's not you like true. It, right? It's not you true. You like it. I don't. He was trying to fall. This boy, because this one is suffering. He's suffering, he's, he's fighting for his life right now, all because of you. Okay, so stand up, leave this place, leave my house, and live my life. Oh my God, no, he hasn't got into that. Stand up! Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm coming. Betty. Nora, please. I know that I have offended you and I do not deserve to be called a friend. But Nora, I'm so sorry. I need you right now. I don't have any other person to go. So please, I need to be a friend. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Are you sure? Of course I've forgiven you. You're my friend. It's okay. My life is messed up right now. I hated that boy because he was a constant reminder that someone else could give my husband something that I couldn't give him in five years of marriage. A child. More so. A son. I know that I constantly said how much I hated him and how much I wanted to kill him and how much I wanted him to die. But I didn't mean that. Literally, like, die, 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 die. No. I, I didn't want the boy to die. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to Emeka to make him believe me. And you need to believe me. I didn't want that child to die. I believe you. Okay? I really do. And I know that, you know, somewhere deep down in his heart, he does. Emeka believes you. He knows you're not that kind of a person. You know, everything he said, he just said out of anger. Nora, I love my husband. I love him so much. And I don't want to lose him. I know that I might have gone overboard. Things happened. 
a lot of things happened so fast. I guess I couldn't just handle it. I couldn't deal with them. And and I guess I needed someone to blame for my problems. So I just hit it all on that little boy. And it made me just angry. And the whole HIV issue just made matters worse. But I swear to you, I didn't want that child to die. And I am scared. Scared that Lotana might never wake up. And I might never be able to make amends. No. No, Betty. Don't say that. Lutana will be fine by the special grace of God. Amen. He'll be fine. And, and you and Emeka can mend things up. <sighs> I don't think so. Certainly not after I tell him the truth. I mean, who would want to live with a woman that puts you at risk? Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to stay with, with a carrier. I mean, I wouldn't. I have judged and I have ridiculed others who lived with the virus. Why would anybody treat me differently? Why? Babes, look, you've simply been so hard on yourself. You need to stop it. See, as a doctor, I have met a lot of couples that are living with the virus. And others that either partner also have the virus. But the important thing is love. As long as you love your partner, and you guys love each other so much, and you stay faithful to your, to your treatment, I see no reason why you can't live your normal life. Are you sure? Yes. Are you trying to tell me now that I can live a normal life and not die the way Lieutenant's mom died? Yes. Yes, you can't, Betty. You know, I never met Lieutenant's mom. I don't know her. But I can say that she was being careless with her treatment. That was why she died the way she did. Do you know that HIV carriers can also live for as long as 70 to 100 years? That is, if it's the will of God. Yes. Babes, all you need to do right now is tell your husband the maker about it. That's the very important one. I know. You'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> hey, my mom. Sorry, I, I couldn't pick your call. I, I wasn't available. Okay, so how is your son? I'm scared. How? He's there lying. Helpless and lifeless. The doctor said he slipped into coma. My God. How did he sustain such an injury as to put him in a coma? Betty said she caught him trying to steal food from the kitchen. So she pursued him to beat him and he slipped. You mean Betty is responsible for Lutana's condition? No, not exactly. She said it was an accident. Eh, that's exactly what she would say. That's exactly what she would say in her own defense. Okay, okay, tell me. If Betty was feeding that little boy well, what would make him to go into the kitchen late in the night to steal? Check it. Just check it. See, Emeka, I, I must tell you this right before you. You've allowed your wife to treat your own son like a common slave in your own house. Stop. And this is definitely the climax of it all.
What are you doing here? I... I decided to bring food and clothes for you. I just figured you might need a change of clothes and something to eat. That's not what I'm talking about and you know it. I said, what are you doing here? I thought I told you that I never want to see you again in my life and in my house. Mecca, I have made a lot of mistakes in life. But if I do not tell you the truth, that would be the greatest mistake of my life. What truth? I know that I do not like Lutana. I never liked him. But the reason I have been hostile towards him is for something entirely different. And you, you think I want to hear it? After all you did to that boy? <laughs> you know, I gave you so many opportunities. But I guess what you wanted was for me to choose. Well, I have done that. I choose my son. So pack your things, get out of my house, and get out of my life. I'm HIV positive. The doctor confirmed it. That day, I ran into the kitchen. Upset about Lutana. His blood splattered on me and I went to the hospital out of fear for a checkup. <laughs> and lo and behold, my greatest fear. Staring at my face. I am HIV positive. <laughs> I am HIV. But how? I'm not cheating on you if that is what you think. Although I have absolutely no way to prove I heard that there are other ways you can contract the disease other than through sexual intercourse. Until now, it still beats me as to how it all happened. I suggest you get tested, just in case. Betty, this, this is, this is unbelievable. More like in, inconceivable. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know how it all happened. I still can't, I still can't understand it. I know that it might sound very silly, but I hope you can understand why I did what I did. I couldn't bring myself to, I couldn't bring myself to make love to you. I just I couldn't just bear the risk of infecting you and putting you at risk. And I guess I needed someone to blame for everything, so I found it very easy to lash out at Lutana. Betty, why are you doing this? I mean, why do I get the feeling that that you're blaming yourself for everything? How do you mean? 
because I might very well be the one who infected you. I was the one who is exposed to the carrier. Have you forgotten? Why did you have to carry so much burden all by yourself? Why, why did you have to hide something as, as important as this? Why didn't you tell me? Why? Because I was scared of rejection. I... I mean, not that it really matters anymore now. I want to make your wish come true. I would leave. But I just have one favor to ask of you. Can I stay until Lutana gets better? Please. I promise you, as soon as it's fine, I will leave and I will never come back. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nos. Oh, Mr. Emeka, huh? this car resort is okay. It shows that uh, we don't have uh, hard damage on him. The damage is superficial and uh, okay. it's not internal. That's what this car resort has told us. Hi. If that is the case, why is he still in coma? That's the puzzling thing, considering the scam result. He is supposed to be out of it by now. The question is, why do you think your son will want to come out from coma? Uh, doctor, I don't understand. What are you trying to say? You know, as a medical doctor and an experienced one, I need to make you understand that sometimes spiritual controls what happens in the physical. Perhaps that has necessitated your, your child's situation. Spiritual. I'm, I'm confused. Now, come to think about it. Why not spend time? Speak to your child. Tell him good things. Love stuff. Bedtime stories. Perhaps. Who knows? It helps. I'll give you that chance. Why not go ahead and try it? It could help you. It could bring him out of the coma. All right, I'll give you that moment. All right, doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. doctor said that I should talk to you that um, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. But <clears throat> Buddy, I, you are not a mistake. Yes, I must admit to the fact that your existence shocked me. I mean, 10 years, <laughs> and I'm just finding out that you, you existed. I, I was happy. I, I was happy that you existed, yet I, I couldn't handle it. But then it took this accident to make me realize how, how I have grown to love you. But it was a shame. It was a shame because every day when I return home and I look at you, I, I, I could not see the pain beneath your smile. I was so blind, I couldn't see that you were suffering under the place where, where I is supposed to be home. I'm sorry for all my negligence. I'm sorry for, sorry for Betty. I'm sorry for all, all her maltreatment towards you. I, All I know is that I miss you right now. And I... I love you. And I want you, wherever you are, 
So listen to daddy. I want you to come back to me and I will do everything in my power to protect you, to, to make sure that you will never ever have to go through so any sort of abuse again, please. Lutana, please. Please come back to me. <laughs> Honey, um, I decided to stop by to see how Lutana is doing and how you are doing as well. I'm fine. Lutana's condition is still the same. The doctor said that I should practice speaking to him, that the voice of loved ones have been known to help in cases like this, so I've been doing just that. Just, just look at the gravity of what I have done. I feel so bad. Do you think that child would ever be able to forgive me when he wakes up? We should pray he wakes up first. And Betty, <clears throat> I have decided to take the HIV test. And I also want us to see the doctor in this hospital so that whatever the case may be, we will be needing counseling for the life ahead of us. Okay. But please, can I, can I see Lutana first? Yeah, sure, why not? He's in room one or three. Lotanna, I am sorry. I know that I put you in this condition and that you don't deserve any of the things that I have done to you. I pray that you, if you can hear me, you find a place in your heart to forgive me. But Lotanna, I need you to wake up. Lotanna. I promise you I will never lay a finger on you again. I promise you I will never touch you. I promise you that. But I need you to forgive me. Please. I am sorry. I am... Oh, Betty. I'm an angel's son, and you're in forever land. Forever land? Like, you mean I'm in heaven? Well, let's just say you're not yet in heaven. You are close, and I came to stop you. Stop me, but I, I, I want to go to heaven. I, I, I want to see my mommy. Uh, Auntie Kachi says she went to heaven. I know how you feel, my dear child. But it's not yet time for you to be with the Lord. So you really need to go back? I don't, I don't want to go back. They hate me. I, I don't want to be surrounded by so much hate. It, my, my mommy was the only one who loved me. Hush, my dear child. There's so much going on in this world that I cannot begin to explain to you. God has given human free will to choose between good and evil. But unfortunately, they choose the path of hate instead of love. They choose evil instead of good. And therein lies the problem of this world. Well, I don't want to be in the world anymore. I, I, I don't want to be surrounded by so much hate. I'd rather choose to be with my mommy. I know, dear. But your work isn't finished yet. God has destined you to show a lot of soul the path to love. A path to God, beginning with your family. Your father needs you, Lutana. So does your stepmom. 
without you, their marriage will be a real. And I'm sure you don't want that. No, I, I, I guess not. I thought as much. You know what? What? There's one more person that needs you back on Earth. Another person? Who? Your baby brother. A baby brother? I've always wanted a baby brother. I know you've always wanted a baby brother. That's why you really need to go back. Who's going to teach him how to ride bike and play with him when you're gone? Mm. Wow, congratulations, Mr. Emeka. The test results are out and um, you were tested negative. That means you don't have the HIV virus. <laughs> Doctor, but how is that possible? I mean, my wife tested positive to HIV virus. How come I am not a carrier? Well, uh, by statistics, men hardly contract the virus uh, as much as the women do. So I think that was the reason behind it. Um, doctor, I have never cheated on my husband. So how is it that I'm a carrier? Uh, well, you need to understand something. You don't have to go into infidelity before such occurrence happens. Could be true use of uh, sharp objects. You know, you go to the sale on most times and uh, you could get it from it. So, Mr. Emeka, it's not a thing to worry about. If the two of you choose to be together, we can place our on uh, an antiretroviral drugs while we book the two of you for a program which will be handy for the two of you. Okay, well, we would appreciate that. We would appreciate that, sir. Okay. Doctor, doctor, the patient is out of coma. Patient is out of coma? Yes. Sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll give you time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I choke you? Can you stand up? Good. Good. Thank God. Thank God you came back. I, I don't know what I would have done without you. I don't know what I would have done if I'd lost you. Well, the angel said I, I had to come back there. Angel? What angel? Well, I, I saw an angel on my way to heaven and he, he said that I had to return because you needed me and Auntie Betty and also my baby brother. Baby brother? I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't understand. Well, the angel said if I hadn't returned, that you and Auntie Betty's marriage um, would have been ruined, so... And there is no way you can give me a baby brother if you two aren't married anymore. I am so sorry. Indeed, you saw an angel. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. I'm sorry, okay? I missed you. And he just, he just took this incident to know, to realize how much I love you. And I don't want to ever lose you again. I, we, we love you. We love you very much. Welcome home. It's about time you get to be treated the way you ought to be treated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is your school bag. Mm -hmm. Make sure you behave yourself and read your books. Okay. So Thank you. Good. Thank you, Auntie Betty. Hey. I think it's high time you stopped calling me Auntie Betty. Wow. 
because your baby brother will be here soon and I don't want him to start calling me Auntie Betty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Bye, Mom. Say it again. Bye, Mom. Louder. Bye, Mom. <laughs> right, how sweet is that? Be good. Okay. Honey, all right, I'll see you. Thank you, darling. I appreciate you for everything that you have done so far. Thank you. Well, I think that I'm the one who should appreciate you for everything that you have done. You're the best husband any woman can ask for, and I am so lucky to have you in my life as my own. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you. And okay, you please. take care of mommy. Eh? Get away. <laughs> take that boy to school and be good. Sure. I love you. Yeah.